Welcome back. The details. The president of the uh, COP27 climate conference, Foreign Minister Sami Shukri, said the vast majority of nations attending crunch climate talks in Sharm el Sheikh say Egypt's proposed package of solutions is balanced. Shukri said parties must now rise to the occasion. In a news conference on Saturday morning, we have more details. President of the COP27 Climate Conference, Foreign Minister Sema Shukri told the nearly 200 nations gathered in Sharm el Sheikh to rise to the occasion and reach a consensus on a fair climate agreement on Saturday. Speaking a day after the summer was supposed to end, Shukri added that the vast majority of nations attending the talks say Egypt's proposed package of resolutions is balanced and constitutes a potential breakthrough that can lead to consensus. Shukri stated after listening and looking into different perspectives and points of views, texts have been prepared on three issues in a balanced manner, adding that they will be a starting point to move forward. He said the issue now rests with the will of the parties. It is the parties who must rise to the occasion and take upon themselves the responsibility of finding the areas of convergence. A final text to conclude the summit has yet to be agreed, with outstanding issues including whether a new fund would be created to help nations with the damage wrought by climate change and whether to call for a phase-down of all fossil fuels. Shukri added that consultations with concerned groups of party states over the draft text still continue. Foreign Minister stressed there was no room or opportunity for any of the groups in the conference to say that all the interests were reflected in these texts. And to continue with the uh, COP uh, uh, headlines, the UN Climate Agency published on Saturday an updated draft of a proposal final agreement for the COP27 climate summit with a partial text on the continuous issue of loss and damage payments to countries hit by climate-driven disasters. Details. Negotiators made their final push for a deal at the COP27 climate talks in Egypt on Saturday, trying to bridge divisions over funding relief for climate change disasters and commitments for long-term climate action. With the talks already in overtime, officials from both the European Union and the Netherlands said they were worried about some issues. The outcome of the conference, which was to end on Friday is widely seen as a test of global resolve to fight climate change as a war in Europe and rampant consumer inflation distract international attention. An official draft of the agreement reaffirmed past commitments to limit warming to one and a half degrees Celsius. However, it didn't meet demands by some, including the European Union and Britain, for an overall deal that locks in country commitments for more ambitious efforts to curb climate warming emissions. It also did not take on a suggestion by India and the EU to ask countries to phase down all fossil fuel use instead of just coal. The draft left other issues like the main sticking point between rich and poor nations of how to compensate countries already ravaged by climate-driven floods, droughts, megastorms and wildfires. Envoy of the COP27 Climate Conference, Environment Minister Yasmin Fouad declared on Saturday the results of the conference's sun stability plan. The declaration was attended by South Sinai Governor Khalid Fouda. The COP27 sustainability plan was drafted in a co-chaired process by the Secretary of the conference, which is El Nashar Sheikh, sheikh and includes a group of measures to ensure the conference meets a zero carbon emissions target. Meanwhile, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres had a group photo with volunteer youths who helped in organizing the conference. The organization also granted the youth certificates in appreciation for their great role in making the event a story of success.